to you. All right. Thanks very much, Rich Hudson. Now to our special regulation nation. A House panel has voted to delay a new EPA regulation for industrial boilers and cement plants. Critics say they would cost and put thousands of Americans out of work. Republican Congressman Morgan Griffith of Virginia is the co-sponsor of the bill to delay the new boiler rooms, and he joins us now. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Um, Thank you for give, having me. Give the viewers a sense of what was at stake or what's at stake with, this, uh, with both of these rules. Well, what's at stake is lots of jobs. Uh, we don't know how many, but clearly thousands of jobs are in jeopardy as a result of new rules being put forward by the EPA. The EPA stayed two of the four that are included in what's called Boiler Mac. We have a bill that says, okay, we're going to give you more time, like the courts, uh, with the EPA asked the courts for, we're going to give you more time, and we're going to stretch out the time that companies have to comply with whatever the rules are. We believe that it's the right thing to do because we want to make sure we get these rules right. These are new regulations coming on businesses. We want to make sure we don't force more jobs overseas in the process of having new regulations. The regulations may be necessary in some cases. We want to take a look at that and make sure that's accurate. But we don't want to do that uh, quickly when we know that the job losses will be irreversible, that the expenses that the businesses have to put into their, their companies if they stay in the United States will be irreversible. And if we come down the road and six months, eight months later, we find out that's not correct, we have a big problem in this country. Congressman, let me play devil's advocate here because I understand the importance of getting this right. But at the same time, the number one thing that plagues this economy and plagues this market is uncertainty, whether it's regulation that's going to take over health care, whether it's about what's happening in Europe, even GDP growth, and certainly these EPA regulations don't uh, help anything. Isn't Congress part of the problem here as well in terms of delaying um, any sort of outcome? In the meantime, businesses are frozen, and that's costing everybody money. Well, I don't think there's any question in a perfect world we'd have everything, you know, instantly uh, available. But unfortunately, this is very complex. There are over 100 pages of uh, federal regulations in the proposals that were put out last uh, winter, spring. Uh, the EPA itself recognized they needed to relook at about half of the regulations they put out, so they're doing that now. And uh, in all fairness, I believe that long term we need to make sure we get it right. That you know, certainty but wrong means we force businesses out of uh, out of the country. We even had one business from my district who came in and testified and said that if you know they're not given a longer time period, they would have to significantly uh, reduce the workforce that they had in the ninth district of Virginia. Uh, because they can't make the changes that the EPA would want in the time period that the EPA has allowed. So what t sort of time frame are you looking for, Congressman? I mean, I know that you're looking to delay this at least for uh, 15 months, but uh, there's a lot on Congress's plate. In the meantime, this seems like something that could continue to get pushed out further and further. Well, if, if the bill passes, and I believe it will pass the House, and I hope it pass, will pass the Senate, because the language is bipartisan language, both Democrats and Republicans. We have 24 Democrats, 116, 117 total sponsors in the House, similar numbers uh, proportionally in the Senate. Uh, and it looks like it's got some real possibility of support. We believe if it passes, it will give businesses the ability to realize that at the very least they're going to have more time to adjust to these regulations. We're not saying we've got to rewrite the entire law, but we do need to rewrite this portion of the law so that businesses will have more time so that they can appreciate and figure out what they can do. Right. For example, the one employer I mentioned earlier, they, they don't have a supply of natural gas that's sufficient to, fl to flip over to natural gas in that area. Engineering natural gas in there is going to take time. Congressman, uh, you know, I must commend you for, for trying, to, try, trying to take the subtle route because from what I've read, uh, cement industry experts say up to 20,000 jobs could be lost in a boiler industry up to 200,000 jobs. Now, here's the thing I'm, I'm concerned about. Are you uh, in Congress, your members on both sides of the aisle, worried that your authority is being usurped by czars and the EPA and that you really had no, no sort of say in this sort of decision that will obviously cost American jobs and we'll probably see imports of cement as opposed to exports of cement? There's no question in regard to Cement Mac and, and many of these other products that are being made that we will see greater imports because they're going to make it impossible to make some of these products in the United States. And I think it's very clear in the Cement Mac uh, area that that evidence is fairly clear. Yeah, but You're sir, right, are, you, are you concerned that, that, you're, risk. that your authority in Congress is that you guys are losing uh, 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 sway and, and with the political conversation and major decisions in this country? Do you think perhaps that's being taken away from you? Well, I am concerned about that, and, and you just mentioned Solyndra, and that's an area where apparently they made a legal ruling that I think doesn't make any sense uh, in order to uh, subordinate the American taxpayer. 
That, that is true across the board. We see a lot of decisions being made by the Obama administration that are taking away or, or just making decisions without Congress being involved. That being said, I'm not really sure I can say that about Boiler Act or Cement Act. Uh, they're, they're following court rulings and prior uh, legislative intent. I right. may not agree with the court rulings, but I do think that Congress is involved in this process. Okay. Thank you very much, Congressman Morgan Griffith of Virginia. We appreciate it. Thank you. We want to know what you think about this issue. What government regulation gets in your way?